Near the southeast corner of Peck Road and Valley Boulevard in El Monte, near the 10 freeway, sits a rather interesting memorial. So what's the deal with the lion? It marks the site of Gay's Lion Farm, one of the Southland's earliest tourist attractions. In 1914, Charles and Muriel Gay, two European-born circus stars, moved to California along with Charles' Circus and began raising lions in the West Lake MacArthur Park area. They initially started with three adult lions, but within a few years they had grown to 57. And needing more space, they built a compound in El Monte and opened Gay's Lion Farm on July 1st, 1925. Their new five-acre farm was also a tourist attraction that has been called the Disneyland of the 1920s and 30s, and was actually one of several animal-themed attractions of Southland at the time, which included the alligator farm in Lincoln Heights, Costin's ostrich farm in South Pasadena, and Monkey Island in Hollywood. However, apart from thrilling the crowds of visitors, the Gay's Lions were also rented out to Hollywood studios for use in the growing movie industry. Their most famous lions were Numa, who appeared in many films including Charlie Chaplin's The Circus, and Slats and Jackie, who were the first and second Leo the Lion for MGM, with Jackie providing that first iconic roar. Gay's Lion Farm also ingrained itself into the El Monte community. The high school adopted the lions as their nickname, and the Gays even provided a lion to serve as a mascot and appear at certain home football games. The farm also hosted many civic events, including the annual Lion Club Banquet, where barbecued lion was served, and they sponsored floats in the Rose Parade. Gay's Lion Farm enjoyed almost two decades of success, housing over 200 lions at its height, but the U.S.'s entry into World War II brought about the beginning of the end for the farm. Wartime rationing of meat and gasoline forced them to close the farm and loan their lions to public zoos, with the intention of reopening once the war ended. However, at war's end, Charles' failing health made it impossible to relaunch the farm. So in 1949, the Gays sold their property and retired to Balboa Island, where Charles passed away in 1950, followed by Muriel in 1966. Although the farm was paved over in 1954 to make room for the 10 freeway, and the roar of the lions has been replaced by the buzzing of traffic, it has left a lasting impression on El Monte's identity. It's evident in the high school, which has a bronze lion statue that once stood at the entrance to the farm, and the silhouette cutouts that adorn the Metrolink station, in murals, and, of course, in the lion statue that quietly stands guard near the former side of the farm.